I've been joined this morning by Dr. Clement Edusa. He's a medical oncologist and medical director at SZMC, and also Gloria Yangson. She's a cancer nurse and a director at Cancer Connect Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Number one, what is prostate cancer? We keep hearing about it. What is this monster that seems to be terrorizing men? <laughs> So prostate cancer, first of all, um, I think we need to understand what the prostate is mm -hmm. and then what cancer is. Mm -hmm. uh, prostate is a gland which is found in men, mm -hmm. located between the base of the penis mm -hmm. and the bladder. And its main responsibility is to produce uh, fluid for the semen, okay. so it nourishes the mm -hmm. semen. Um, cancer on its own mm -hmm. is your own cells which have gone haywire. So they've developed the genetic defect okay. and now they reproduce and they cannot die. So you have this mass which grows and develops mm -hmm. abnormally. So prostate cancer is now these cells of the prostate which now grow okay. uncontrollably. Mm. So how, that's how it comes about. That's how it really. comes about, yes. uh, What are the symptoms we look at, for example, I come to you, Gloria. What, what do we look at to say somebody has prostate cancer? Right, okay. So, um, as doctor said, um, when the, if someone has uh, cancer in the prostate, the prostate actually enlarges. Mm. And then in the prostate gland, mm -hmm. we have the urethra. Okay. So that tube that carries urine from the bladder mm. um, for the man to mm. urinate. Mm -hmm. And then also it carries the sperms as right. well. Mm. So we have both the urinary symptoms and then what we call that which helps with the sexual function. Okay. So that's what we are screaming about prostate cancer, prostate mm. cancer, because it actually affects you, the You may want to break it down for me, the two strands yes. of, of symptoms yeah. that you talk so about. So with the urinary symptoms, basically if there is a um, pressure or there's narrowing of the urethra, mm. then naturally urination will be difficult. Mm. So um, people have what we call urgency, so they need to go because mm. they need to empty their mm. bladder. Mm. And then we have frequency, so they go more often more because often. when they go, they can't empty it fully. Mm. And then also they have like a, um, a weak stream as mm. well. Mm. These symptoms can be um, symptoms of other prostate issues, which is in prostate cancer. Okay. So um, when you have these symptoms, we ask that you go and have yourself checked mm. so that they can determine mm. what it is and then mm. you can be treated appropriately. Is it on the ascendancy in Ghana, this condition, is it? Yes, it's on the increase. What, uh, what, are, the, what are the shocking figures you want to share? Well, I mean, for Ghana, I would say that out of every um, 100,000, you're expecting two, 200 men to wow. develop it. Wow. And you see about 1,000 new cases of prostate cancer. Mm. Cancer on its own in Ghana is about 16,000 plus wow. per year. So it's on the rise. Yeah. Hmm. Part of the reason why it's on the rise okay. is because of the screening that we, we've sort of started okay, and so the world has started. Exactly. Okay. So you are identifying patients much more earlier mm -hmm. than what happened before when they used to come mm -hmm. in the end stages. Yeah. Say you have a family history, your father had prostate cancer, he died. Are you at a risk of, of getting yes, it? Yes. What's the proximity of this risk? So your risk actually doubles with your, your having family this thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There are some kind of genes which are transferred. So BRCA1, BRCA2, HOXB13, mm. those are genes which, which gives you that higher risk mm. for, for mm. developing prostate cancer. Interesting. Let's talk about age. Who can get it? Uh, right, okay. The 16-year-old so boy. That, that's also, so age is one of the risk factors. Yeah. So as you grow, um, it typically for Africa would start from the age of 40, 45. Mm -hmm. 40 if you have a family history, then you should yeah. start thinking of checking. Okay. So we in Africa have, um, uh, we, we get prostate cancer at a bit of a younger age mm -hmm. compared to um, Caucasians or um, um, Asians. Mm -hmm. um, and also apart from age and then the family history, mm -hmm. there's also the aspect of race. Mm -hmm. So Africans are more predisposed to this prostate cancer. So mm -hmm. these three are the factors that we say there isn't much you can do about mm -hmm. but then there's diet in there or okay. lifestyle uh, what um, choices what, what you eat, eat. exercising mm. that comes into play so as, as for that lifestyle I think it, it runs through everything healthcare. Mm. so basically for hypertension diabetes and all that mm. exercising eating very well mm. um, and then keeping a good good weight Doc, um, you want to you want to top up for me and I'm asking this because Friday night you see uh, the guys uh, they're drinking everything that's uh, there to be drunk, they're chewing everything, That's some right, are shy in their lives. Of uh, do they stand at a greater risk? 
Yes, you stand at a greater risk. Mm -hmm. As Gloria rightly said, uh, diet uh, plays a major role. So we know that you're supposed to actually cut down on the red meat you mm -hmm. eat mm -hmm. and fat, animal fat that you take in. Mm -hmm. And obesity is one of the greatest risks, mm -hmm. both for prostate and even breast cancer. Okay. So once you're obese, you, you need to try and, and, and tone down. Mm -hmm. Somebody would ask, is this sexually transmitted? Can you pick it from someone? So there is, there is a link between infection and mm. cancer. Mm. Um, viruses play a major role in a lot of cancers. Mm -hmm. um, I, th um, I think there is a link with, with, with sexually transmitted disease okay. and the number of sexual partners that an individual has. Mm. Mm. Let's look at treatment. Is it possible to treat it? Mm. Is it possible to get help for somebody who may have seen symptoms, uh, whether ur urinary or other symptoms, is the help? Yes. So um, again, we drum on on early detection. I think I'll pick that up, and then Doctor Dusa right. would continue. Mm. So mm. early detection, because if we are able to detect it early, mm. then treatment is more effective, and then your chances of survival is very high. Mm. Because we get about 80 90 percent in Europe and in the Americas, mm. but when you come here, more people are actually dying. Uh, uh, more than 50 percent of mm. those diagnosed are actually dying because mm. they come at a late stage. Um, and then some of the treatments, Dr. Risa, could um, Doc. go through with us. Yeah, so treatments which are available uh, in Ghana are surgery for okay. prostate cancer, okay. so it's a prostatectomy. We have external beam radiotherapy, mm -hmm. bracket therapy, which is also a, a type of radiotherapy. Okay. And then we have um, biopsies, which of course you need to do before you can in have any treatment. Mm -hmm. You have chemotherapy for the later stage of disease. Okay. And we also have palliative care for people who would not benefit from any treatment, mm -hmm. but still need that kind of medical care. W what about those who would opt for herbal concoctions to say, look, me na na say, uh, w what do you say to them? It, it's a big problem in the medical field mm -hmm. with herbal uh, issues. I mean, orthodox and non-orthodox uh, treatments mm -hmm. sometimes flow in parallel, even though we know that medicines are taken from plant-based. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of people who've gone through herbal treatment and actually come up very bad and come late. Okay. So uh, I would say that in as much as uh, people believe that this is what has been passed down from tradition and from their family. Okay. Uh, to see a doctor is, is, mm. is also very imperative and very necessary. What happens, Gloria, if uh, you don't seek early treatment, you, you ignore the signs, and it gets worse? What options are available to you? Mm. So um, the signs that we spoke about, which is the urinary, mm. um, typically with prostate cancer, it's a bit silent. Mm. So you get those urinary symptoms as it's a bit, um, the, the cancer has grown a bit mm -hmm. more, um, hopefully still confined to the prostate. But then again, as it advances, there are more symptoms because mm -hmm. what happens is with cancer, the worry is the fact that it breaks from the original um, um, site, mm -hmm. so if it's the prostate, through the bloodstream into other organs. Mm -hmm. So other organs for prostate would be bone, okay. it could be the, um, the liver, mm -hmm. it could be, and mm -hmm. then these are major organs that serve us. Wow. And if you don't have your lung working, if you don't have your liver working, then basically you're doomed. Mm -hmm. So most people will come with pain. I think that's uh, advanced stages, the advanced presentation stage. they come in. Um, at the age of 50, 55, you know, people want to get healthy. Right. They'll be jogging and mm -hmm. then they hear you know, something, something is and then somewhere. if they go out there, they think that oh, it's just a normal fracture, but it could actually be prostate cancer mm. that has moved into the mm. bone. Mm. Um, so those are the things. And then um, people would have sometimes painful ejaculation, blood in the semen, that mm. could be advanced. Um, um, Where can people go for help? Now that you have told us everything we need to know and you're scared, that's enough. Where can people go for help, Doc? So I work at Sweden Ghana Medical Center, which mm -hmm. is a private cancer center found in Ghana, East Legon. Um, our doors are always open for patients to mm -hmm. come and inquire and seek treatment. You can also go for help in government institution. Kolibu Teaching Hospital has mm -hmm. a, a cancer specialized area. Mm -hmm. Konfanoche Teaching Hospital also mm -hmm. has a cancer center. So okay. those are the three centers which you can find in mm -hmm. Ghana. Mm. Interesting. Gloria, your closing thoughts. Yeah, so when you talk about screening, um, most urologists should be able to take care of that and um, to screen. So we advise that men from the age of 45, mm -hmm. if you have a family history a bit earlier, 
and you should know these things. So mm. let's have a discussion with our family to find out, um, and then we can actually save mm. um, our lives. Cancer Connect is also available, so it's basically a cancer support network okay. for all cancers. Mm -hmm. So we start from creating awareness, which we're doing, mm. and then also supporting through treatment, diagnosing, mm. um, navigation. And then there are other pharmaceutical companies as well, um, Johnson & Johnson, which is very passionate about prostate cancer mm. that is supporting the effort. So help is available. Mm. We just need people to come out. You, you are, you are a cancer this. nurse. Mm. The, the men say they are not comfortable uh, coming to do the tests. Uh, what do you say? You know, it's about your life. It's about your life. And if you're not comfortable with a female nurse, you can always get um, the male doctors mm. around that mm. you can always get. But think about your life. Think about the years ahead. Think mm. about your family. Mm. Because if this cancer happens, it's not just you it affects. Mm. It affects your wife. Right. When you're talking about sexual issues, the mm. wife definitely. Mm -hmm. It affects the kids because you're not well enough to go out there and work and then support your family. Mm -hmm. It affects the extended family. And I'll add as well, it actually affects the government mm. because you're not able to be productive enough okay. for the country to thrive. So it affects everybody. Mm. And um, we want you healthy. So that is why we're taking this June to celebrate and honor men and right. then talk about your health issues. Okay, Father's Day is on Sunday. They, they have not wished us, but we are okay. Doc, thank you very much. Dr. So much. Uh, Clemente Dusa is the head, is the medical oncologist and uh, medical director at the uh, Sweden Hospital in here in Accra. And Gloria Yangtze is a cancer nurse. Uh, she's also a director at the Cancer Connect uh, Ghana. Thank you very much for your time. And you. God bless thank you for you. your good work.